Now, one thing that I ask our students to not do is avoid Vedic math books. Now, now, now let me clarify. I'm not saying avoid Vedic math. Vedic math is legit and it works and it's wonderful. The problem is these books, they are huge, they're heavy. They contain hundreds of formulae. And the thing is, you don't need all of them, okay? It's it's like reading those self-help books, okay? You are feeling like you're going somewhere. You read this wonderful self-help book and you're like, oh, wow, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and my life's going to be different. And it turns out their life is the same. Vedic math books give you that sense of false achievement, okay? This They, they lull you into the sense of, you know, I've done a lot of work for CAT. I'm going to ace this exam. No. First of all, you know, you're not going to remember all these formulae on the day of the exam. Secondly, in the actual exam, the pressure is so immense, you're going to start doubting everything you do. That happens to everyone, even people who get 99 percentile plus in quant, even somebody like myself who got a 99.17 in 2023 and I got a 99.59 last year. I doubt myself. People do that. There are times when I, when I think, oh my God, like A square plus B square C square. This is it, right? Am I, am I not making any mistake? I do that. People do that. People who do really well in quant stop and sometimes they, they, they're they like, am I doing the right thing? Now the problem with Vedic math is if you want to memorize a formula or two, that's okay. But if you go about memorizing 30 formulae, you got to know them for sure. You must know them for sure. You can't mix match. You can't you can't take two ideas, mix them together. And this will happen to you in the exam, right? If you're not sure that this was the formula, this was the technique, this was the way it was done, you can't take that risk. So in effect, you've wasted hours of preparation, learning things that you eventually may not remember in the exam. And which is why I'm saying, avoid Vedic math books. Whatever speed tricks, whatever speed formula you need, they're few in number. They're like 10 to 15 of them in total for quants. For the entirety of quants, 10 to 15 max to max, okay, formulae or tricks as you call them, Vedic math based or whatever, okay, you don't need any more tricks.